Hello grade 10 learners. So this will be our first uh, video lesson in Math 10. So for today, I will be discussing one of the kinds of sequence which is arithmetic sequence. So gagawin nating mas madali yung lesson na ito. So ngayon, let us define first what is arithmetic sequence. A sequence in which a constant d is added to the previous term to get the next term is called an arithmetic sequence. The constant is called the common difference. So let's have a basic example. Even numbers are considered arithmetic sequence. 2, 4, 6, 8, and then we put uh, three dots, that is ellipsis, pwede siyang mag-continue, okay? And so on. So, makukuha natin ang sequence by adding the constant to the previous term. For example, para makuha natin si 4, ay nag-add tayo ng 2. So, we're in 2 plus 2, 4. So, kailangan yung i-add natin ay constant. Pare-parehas. Para makuha natin yung third term, which is yung 6, nag-add tayo ng 2 dito sa 4. So, 4 plus 2 ay 6. Then, 6 plus 2 ay 8. Ang sinasabi natin common difference, kapag sinubtract natin yung second term at first term, third term at second term, fourth term at yung third term pare-parehas yung makukuha natin and that is what we call the common difference. So, magbigay pa tayo ng ilang example ng arithmetic sequence pero this time, kailangan natin i-identify yung first term. So, sige, let us identify the first term denoted by A sub 1 we, all, uh, we also need to identify the common difference that is denoted by D. And the next term. So, ang una muna natin gagawin ay i-identify yung first term, yung common difference denoted by D, at yung next term. Kasi kapag kaya nyo nang i-identify yung mga terms na ito, ay magagamit na natin yung formula mamaya ng arithmetic sequence. So, let's have our first example. 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. So, this is an example of arithmetic sequence. So, let's have the first term. What is your first term? First term. 2. The common difference. We just subtract the second term dito sa first term. So, 5 minus 2, 3. So, we're in makukuha yung next term by adding 3. So, 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. And then... Next term. Empty na lang yung ginamit ko sa next term. Empty next term. Since meron na tayo dito common difference na 3, so mag a lang tayo dito ng 3 para makuha natin yung next term. So, 11 plus 3, the next term is 14. So, let's have our example 2. 1, 1 and 1 thirds, 1 and 2 thirds, 2, 2 and 1 thirds, and so on. Again, this is an example of arithmetic sequence. So, let's have the first term. Our first term is 1. Then, their common difference is, so 1 and 1 thirds minus 1 
one thirds. And then our next term, we need to add one thirds dito sa ating uh, one, two, three, four, five. So pang fifth term para makuha natin yung sixth term. So two and one thirds plus one thirds that is two and two thirds. So let's have our last example. Three. 17 12 7 2 negative 3 and so on. So let's have our first term. 17 12 7 2 the difference 12 minus 17 is negative 5. So, meron palang common difference sa negative kasi mapapansin natin na ang ating uh, arithmetic sequence ay decreasing or pababa. So, therefore, nababawasan siya. It's like 17 minus 5 ay 12. 12, babawasan ng 5 ay 7. And so and so on. Next term, we have negative 3 plus negative 5. So, like sign add, then copy the sign. So, 3 plus 5 is 8. So, we have negative 8. So, now, in our three examples na arithmetic sequence, in-identify natin yung first term, common difference, and the next term. Now, the nth term of an arithmetic sequence with the first term a sub 1 and common difference D is given by this formula. So, we need to remember this formula in an arithmetic sequence. So, we have a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times D. We're in the a sub 1 is the first term and D is the common difference. Again, what is our formula? a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 D. Okay, so let's have the first example. So, why do we have formula to be used? Probably, para mas mapabilis yung ating pagkuha ng term. Just like this one, 16 term. We are asked to get the 16 term of the given arithmetic sequence. So, instead of uh, continuing the sequence until we get the 16 term, so we are going to use this formula. But first, let us identify... The first term and the common difference. So, our first term is 1. And then, our difference is 5 minus 1, 4. Again, paano natin makukuha yung common difference? We just subtract second term from the first term. It is same with the third term and the second term. So, 5 minus 1 is 4. So, 9 minus 5 is 4. So, same common difference. So, common difference. Okay, so now, so we have our formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d. So we are asked to find a sub 16. And then we have here the first term 1 plus n minus 1, so we have here 16 minus 1 times the common difference, 4. Then we have here equals 1 plus 16 minus 1 is 15 times 4 equals 1 plus 15 times 4, we have here 60. A sub 16 equals to 61. So, therefore, the 16th term is 61. So, by using the formula, 
So, nahanap natin yung 16 term in a given arithmetic sequence 1, 5, 9, 13, and so on. And that is 61. Okay, for our second example, so this time naman, hahanapin natin kung pang ilang term yung given na number na kabilang dito sa arithmetic sequence. For example, in the sequence 50, 45, 40, 35, which term is 5? Okay, so let us identify the given. So our A sub 1 is 50, our first term, and the common difference is 45 minus 40 is negative 5. So meaning, nababawasan ng 5 yung mga susunod na numbers. Okay, so we have our formula, a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Our a sub n is 5. Equals, first term is 50 plus n, kasi n yung ating hinahanap kung pang ilang term minus 1 times the common difference, which is negative 5. Then we have 5 equals to 50 plus distributive. So, i-multiply natin. So, negative 5 times n and then, we have here negative 5n. Then, negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. Then, pwede natin ilipat dito sa my left side yung may variable na n. Then, pagsamahin natin dito sa right side lahat ng constant. So, negative 5n. So, kapag nilipat natin, will become... 5n equals to 50 plus 5. Then, kapag nilipat natin yung constant na 5, sa kabila magiging minus 5. Then, we have 5n equals to... Itong 5 minus 5 is 0, so therefore 50 na lang. Then, applying the multiplication property of equality, so we just multiply it by 1 fifth or simply divide both side by 5. Cancel. And equals to 50 divided by 5 is 10. Our n equals to 10. So, therefore, 5 is the 10th term. Or simply, we can write a sub 10 equals to 5. Okay, for our last example, find the n term of the sequence 3. 7, 11, and 15. Okay, so we have our first term, which is 3, and then the common difference is 7 minus 3, we have here 4. So our formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times the difference equals our first term is 3 plus n minus 1 times the difference 4. So we just substitute the values of a sub 1 and 4 because we are finding for, for the nth term or yung pinaka formula na pwede natin gamitin in finding the terms of the given arithmetic sequence. Equals 3 plus 4 times n is 4n. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 equals 4n 3 minus 4 is negative 1 
Therefore, the end term of the sequence is given by a sub n equals to 4n minus 1. Okay, let us check. Halimbawa ay fourth term. So, hanapin natin yung fourth term. So, wherein yung inyong n ay 4. Because we're looking for the fourth term. So, a sub 4 equals to 4. Diretso na natin your n is 4. Minus 1 equals to 4 times 4 is 16. Minus 1. a sub 4 equals to 15. So, therefore, the fourth term in the given sequence is 15. So, let's go back to our sequence. So, 3, 7, 11, 15. So, your fourth term is 15. So, therefore, ang gagamitin natin in finding the terms is 4n minus 1. So, that concludes our first lesson in Math 10. So, I hope that you learned something today. So, don't forget to like and share this with your friends and classmates. And see you on our next video lesson.